Hello, everyone, and welcome to your information on CBAM, the Carbon Border Adjustment Mechanism of the European Union. Now, we have very recently started a amazing training program on CBAM. Why? Because a lot of our clients uh, and future clients have asked us to. So, of course, we will do it. Now, I'm a customs professional. I am not a climate change emission calculation professional, to put it out there right away. But as in life and as in business day-to-day -day operations, they don't ask me what I want to do. They just tell me to do, right? So it happens, apparently, that CBAM lands on the desk of customs professionals. Whether that's right, that's a different debate. But apparently, we customs people, import export people, also need to deal with climate change, carbon border emission calculations. So as it says on the top here, we provide training and we adjust to what the market needs and what the market needs right now is CBAM training. So in this video, I'm going to share the first part of a larger series of training. I want to show you what we cover in this training, uh, give you also a bit of information about how the training structured and what proficiency you can expect to learn, and also um, what, the, the, what the content is, what you're going to get out of it, what the learning outcomes are, et cetera, et cetera. The training in itself is four hours long, um, so... We obviously won't show this here all in ex exclusively on YouTube. Nobody's going to watch this for four hours. But if you're interested in CBAM and you want to know how customs professionals, import export professionals should prepare for it, regardless of where you are in the world, whether you are in Australia, whether you are in Argentina, whether you are in the US, whether you are in the UK, or whether you are in the EU, then this could be something that's interesting for you. Trainings run every month live. And there is also a fully recorded version of this live training on www.customsmanager slash shop so that you can watch it whenever you want. Let me show you some of the slides that we have prepared for this training just to give you a flavor of what we're going to cover. So I have moved up here to the top right corner. You know this by now if you follow my videos. And this is the training. These are parts of the slides that we're going to use for this training. So it is all about the carbon border adjustment mechanism as part of the EU Green Deal. So let us understand a little bit more what this is all about. So it is no surprise to you that a carbon border adjustment mechanism or CBAM, well, you probably know this by now. If you're watching this, you will have heard of it is a climate measure that aims to prevent the risk of carbon leakage. So the buzzword here is carbon leakage and support the EU's increased climate mitigation ambitions. It'll enter into operation on the 1st of October, 2023. So the chances that it has entered into operation by the time you're watching this are very, very extremely high because we're literally two weeks out before we actually this actually goes live. So the chances are very high. Um, CBAM will initially apply to a to imports of certain goods and selected precursors. You see the word precursor coming up for the first time. So this is something we need to explore. And this is where the carbon that is produced is very intensive. So we're looking at specific product where when you produce it, carbon is really intensive. And also where there is the highest risk of so-called carbon leakage. And these have been identified as being cement, iron and steel, aluminium, fertilizers, electricity, and hydrogen. And this affects EU and non-EU companies alike. So you might be watching this thinking, well, I am in Canada. Why do I care? Well, you have to care if you are sending these kind of products to the EU. And equally, if you're in Belgium and you're importing steel products, for example, from China, you better care because you will have reporting obligations, okay? And the final category of people that need to care, so it's non-EU producers, operators of the installation, EU producers, no, EU importers, EU importers. And if you don't have an importer or you don't deal with customs yourself, you might need to have a representative, a customs agent. So they will be doing your reporting then 
and they are called indirect representatives. So you might want to deal, you might want to look into this. If you're a bro customs broker, indirect representative, then this is something you want to check out. The training we're doing, this four hour training, is designed for import and export professionals, customs managers, R&D managers, engineers, product managers, supply chain and logistics operations responsible persons, general managers, managing directors, in short, everyone involved in carbon intensive products um, around the globe with touch points with the European Union, whether it be importing or exporting. Here is our coverage, our expected outcomes and results that we want to see from this training. Upon completion of this course, you will have gathered a great general awareness and thorough knowledge of the concept of CBAM. We'll look at what it is, why it is, and how does it work. We actually already covered parts of that in my introduction, right? So you'll see how this works. But obviously, this is great, but what are the details? And more importantly, what do I have to do as importer slash as non-EU exporter slash as installation operator. We need to look at the key features of this new law. It's implementing regulations and the tools that the EU Commission have, has created in order to facilitate the implementation of this law. We need to look at affected products. We need to look at the process and requirements in terms of data, processes, steps. We need to look at all the requirements and processes that we need to follow. And we need to know how we're going to calculate carbon emission of affected products. And I'm telling you, that is pretty difficult. And of course, there should be plenty of time for questions. Now, in the live training, you get the opportunity to ask questions right away. So I'll be listening and I'll be reacting. And the live training benefit is, of course, we get to talk about you. You get to introduce yourself, you get to talk about your your industry, you get to talk about your issues, and that's something that an on-demand training can't offer. So I'll be able to react directly to your situation. So in the last training we did, we had someone from the aluminium, uh, aluminum, if you're American, <laughs> uh, industry, and we talked quite extensively about aluminium. Uh, there was someone from the hydrogen energy and the uh, sector in the last training, and we looked at the rules specific for hydrogen. So you can see, Live training offers certain advantages that on-demand training doesn't, but regardless of whichever you choose, both are available. And on the demand training, if you have a question, you can always email me at info at customsmanager.org, and then I'll get back to you um, in, in the same way. And we can even organize for a face-to-face -face chat after you watched the online training. So both should be available to you, whether it is live training or whether it's online training. As long as you get the information, the way we're going to answer your question, we can then discuss. So what you get, and this is the same, whether you whether you do it online, so pre-recorded uh, or live online or on demand, sorry. So first of all, you are able to directly chat to us in the live training, or you send us your questions at info at customsmanager.org. And then we, you will receive an email response. There's an FAQ session at the end of the training for the live training. And again, um, on the on-demand training, we'll be giving you a document that covers FAQs. Slides will be provided after the training. So if you are watching this live, it'll come in a couple of days. If you are um, doing an on-demand training, you can download it right away. Participants are invited to complete a, a quiz after the training. It's not the most difficult one. It checks your understanding because we want to make sure that we meet the condition of you being having a, a thorough knowledge of the topic. If you pass 80%, you'll receive a certificate of completion, CBAM, the EU Border Adjustment Mechanism Completion Implementation in Companies. That's the name of the training. Level one awareness. I'll explain that in a moment. And this asserts that you have received formal training. I talked about a level one, so I just want to explain to you a little bit what this means. All persons involved in customs have to deal with customs compliance. So that means adherence to laws. And therefore, you need a certain proficiency in order to do a job well. Anybody needs that, whether you're in compliance or not. 
all courses that we offer at customsmanager.org develop competencies to help you reach a certain proficiency level. And that's determined by the European Union Customs Competencies Model. You can Google that. That's an official model that has levels and that a certain, certain proficiency level. So you always know what you're going to learn and what you're going to get and where you should get to. It can be defined what the learning outcome must be in order for you to have a level one or level two. So this is a level one course and you can we can now look at what you're supposed to achieve. And again, for all the trainings, including CBAM, www.customsmanager.org slash events for life or www.customsmanager.org slash shop for on demand. So these are all the proficiencies levels as we're going to cover in our training. There's level one aware, level two trained, level three experienced, and level four expert. So this training looks at level one. It's perfect for if you're just starting out to learn about CBAM, and I guess most of us will be a level one first. You don't need a specific skill. You just need to be able to listen. Um, you don't need to be a customs geek or know about the EU ETS system. The goal of this training is to develop a general understanding and basic knowledge of the topic. You'll have awareness of the general concepts. You are familiar with key terminology. Then you progress to a level two, and that's where you independently perform standard tasks related to CBAM. For example, the lodging of a CBAM report. That would be a standard exercise that you need to be carrying out. So we're going to, in level two, look at that. And then it goes on and on and on until you become a CBAM expert. If you're an expert, you do the training, you discuss with government, and you advise businesses on how to do CBAM. And you're certainly a CO2 emission calculating nerd. The timing that we're going to have for this live training and therefore the on-demand training is roughly this. Um, but of course, depending on how you watch this and how you consume it, this may be different and you may be able to pause it and just watch it in, in bite-sized chunks. But obviously, this is the, the, the plan. And as you can see, there are not a lot of breaks. So this is an intense, compressed, four hours training course with little breaks so that we stay focused and we get it done as quick as possible. And the content you might be interested in that we're going to cover is this. I'm going to look at the introduction. So we're going to go a little bit deeper into what we have already discussed. We're going to look at the laws, the guides, and the tools that you need. In seven steps to CBAM, we're going to look at a high-level overview. I'm going to explain to you what CBAM is and how it works, how all of the steps, all of the key steps are. Because once you've get the bird's eye view, you then understand all the level of granular details that, that come then. And that makes it more digestible because the thing is very complex. We then look at key definitions. So like in customs or global trade or export controls, there are definition of words. If you are new to customs and global trade and export controls and free trade agreements, you know this already. Abbreviation galore, rules of origin, valuation, classification, HTS, blah, 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 AEO. So, Eori. So, the list goes on and on and on. CBAM is the same except completely new words, completely different ideas. If you know about EU ETS, congratulations, it will be easier for you. If you don't, don't worry, I've got you covered, but it's intense. There'll be so many new words, so many new concepts. We got to do the definitions first. Then we're going to look at who are the parties involved, who does what. Always, if you want to answer who has to do what, we need to know who these parties are. And most importantly, we need to know who are you and who are your partners. You know, most likely that you've got to lodge if you're an importer. Uh, CBAM report. Uh, so tell me more about that report. What do I have to lodge? How do I have to lodge it? What data is needed? Who gets that data? What do I do if I don't have that data? Then 
link to six is seven. This is where your math, your math training will come in. We're going to calculate some emissions. Well, we're not really going to calculate them. I was just going to tell you about them. Calculating direct emissions. What are CBAM goods? What is the mapping of CN codes? And what are aggregate goods categories? All of that we need to know to understand CBAM. Then we need to continue with this, but we need to shift gears a little bit. One is very connected to the goods. In seven, we talk about CBAM goods. And then we talk about more the production process and the emissions surrounding the production process. And for this, we need to know the concept of system boundaries and production routes. I explain that. Then once we know that we are able to calculate the emission as a third country operator. So third country operator might be you're producing aluminum in the UK or you're producing uh, hydrogen in Saudi Arabia. And now you're sending it to the EU. You now have to know seven and eight in order to do nine. And then we're going to look at the CBAM report again. So we introduced it in six, six, but now we're actually going to learn what we have to file. And then it's time to walk through the official guidance, the official advice, the templates for us to understand what we need to do. That's the content. And that's a lot. That's a lot to learn about. I'm telling you. That's why we leave it there. After four hours, your brain will be fried. And that is just the general awareness. So you can imagine there's a lot we have to learn and there's not a lot of time. And now here is where we would start with the introduction, part one. And this is obviously, you guessed it, where we stop and we draw it to a close. So I want to give away and spoil all the fun. So if you're interested, if I did whet your appetite and you want to hear more and you want to be um, trained by my charming self, then www.customsmanager.org and slash, and then you either go live for events or shop for on demand. Um, yeah. And then we will see each other and we get to spend some time together talking about CBAM. And of course, don't forget, training's not all we have. Consultancy is what we offer. Consultancy means for you, you want to implement CBAM. You want to know how to do it. You want to know the process and procedures. Get in touch. We can help. We've done it for so many customs, process, procedures, special procedures, optimization strategies. We can do it for CBAM too. Don't forget, if you need to know the latest on CBAM, go to Trade Intelligence. That's www.customsmanager.info. This is a one-stop shop for all import, export, customs, CBAM, e-green customs, news updates. But we do it as, whoops, that way, intelligence. So it's not just news you can just read, but it's for those that need to know import, exporters, and trade professionals. And then brokerage. If you want us to file your CBAM report as an indirect customs rep, then you get in touch because we also do that. We're also planning to be third-party verifiers. So then that happens in 2026. We'll get to do that as well. And of course, along that comes all the other customs bits like uh, rules of origin, valuation, classification, AO support services, and of course, filing of customs declarations. Whew. I'm all talked out. I can't wait to see you on the other side for more amazing training on CBAM. Good luck with it. And I will see you next time.